What you have just heard is a replication of the Aztec death whistle. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to build one. It won't look like the skull version, but it will make the same sound. First thing we do is we take a piece of three-quarter PVC 45 degree angle and we cut it in two different ways. We cut it across this way and we cut it across this way. Now you don't want to cut right in the center. You want to move up just a little bit because we're going to insert a piece right here and we want these edges here to hold it. Next thing you do is you cut a three-quarter PVC schedule 40 and three inches long. Same with a half inch PVC three inches long schedule 40. You take the half inch PVC uh, the best thing to use is a small piece of angle iron and draw you a line. Measure from that line over one half inch. Draw you another line. Or you can use a roofing square. Same thing, as long as you got a 90 degree. After you take a hacksaw and you cut on those lines and remove that piece and dress it up, you'll end up with this. You take this piece and insert it into the three-quarter, three-inch piece. And you've got a notch running all the way down on the inside. You take this piece and you drill it out on the where the notch is at the top. And you want to drill it to where you can put this supply line piece in that I cut it four and a half inches where the this end of it will fit right in the top of that notch and then you tighten your zip tie to hold it in place And that allows you to adjust it, cut this off, and it's pretty tight. Okay, on this end, this uh, supply line is going to go in at an angle. This is up and this is down. And see how it's trying to go up? What you're going to have to do is uh, insert a small piece of plastic tubing or something. I've got just a very small piece of plastic tubing and you insert it in the part that's got the notch in the top because you want it toward the you want the supply line toward the bottom okay that does a couple of things it holds your supply line down at the bottom where you want it and it also makes it tighter on your adjustment so it won't move. Next thing you do is you insert this into the end that you didn't cut. And you want that supply line down. I didn't insert it all the way. I'll show you why in a minute. The next thing to do is to make the resonant chambers. I made three different ones. I've got a 1530 seconds, I've got a 3764, and I've got a 5 8. I did these in the lathe that uh, does it in a precision manner. And on the bottom, you have to glue on a piece of uh, PVC. And I happen to have some PVC that was relatively thin, and I just cut it off of a round piece and then whacked it off like that. I laid it down and heated it with a heat gun and laid a heavy piece on top of it and I ended up with a flat piece like this. I took that flat piece and I glued this to it. You want to run this over sandpaper and get it smooth and probably that too. Kind of rest it up where the glue will stick to it good. Put your PVC glue on this, stick it on this, and then set something heavy on top of it and let it set for an hour or more. And after that, Take you a pair of 10 snips, whatever you have, and trim off all this excess, and you're ready to go. 
let's start out with the uh, smallest the uh, 1530 seconds hole and see what it sounds like this thing is so easy to adjust it's unbelievable I know where it goes already so I'm gonna go ahead and push the tube down to the correct position that one's got kind of a whistle to it this next one's a little larger than 3764 it's going to have a different sound that's more like a scream and the 5 8 to me sounded the best and like I say I know where to adjust it so easy to adjust no problem You need to make one of these and get it ready for Halloween. When the trick-or-treaters come up, they'll run like a cubby of quail. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.